Hello and welcome back for our second match with Mono Red Dragon Stompy. Uh, we are again on the draw and we're going to, I believe, keep this hand. Yeah. Uh, our plan is to turn one gamble for Seething Song this time and discard almost anything. And our opponent has let off with a chalice on zero. Which seems odd, unless you're the sort to read my articles and think that I have a chrome box in my hand. But I ain't gonna hold it against them. So, yeah, we're just gonna get this seating song. We discard one of our two redundant sneak attacks, and assuming our opponent doesn't have anything more compelling, we're just going to kill them next turn. Presumably they have force of will, I can't imagine that like all of this happens. Yeah, okay, there we go. The leadoff chalice on zero is still just like, wow, man. Some people. So, obviously we can't play either of our chrome moxes, but they are quite useful in our hand as gamble fodder. So we're going to just let it chill out. Our opponent is probably not thrilled with drawing one land in 12 cards. Um, ooh, we can splice onto... no. No thank you. Through the breach, please. Exa oh, we get to... Oh, right, yeah. We've got a lot of... Anyway. Take 22. So, <laughs> that's that's how it's done. Um, two dead Chromox is no big deal. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that we're playing against a Tesserator deck. Um, so, I've played two iterations... Actually, no, sorry, I've only played one iteration of, like, what I think is going on here, which is basically, they have, like, Chrome Mox, Thopter Sword, Transmute Artifact, Demir Signet, and, like, Tezzerites and Jaces. And so their plan is to, like, slam an early Planeswalker or just, like, go nuts with Thopter and Sword. And we can't really beat Thopter Tokens, is the thing. That's, I mean, like... We can trample over them with this, but like we're actually not phenomenal against them. And our opponent likely has something like Demir Signet to make our Blood Moons pretty bad. So we're going to cut those. <coughs> um, we don't really want this Nickel Bolas. And Molten Steel Dragon and Zodiac Dragon are like some of our worst cards against a deck that can make tokens and you know just generally clutter the board up so we're gonna go down to just the one molten steel dragon and board in all of these support cards uh, so power blast is pretty obvious like we want to stop force will and they have planeswalkers presumably they definitely have thopter foundry and shattering spree is an excellent card because the way that Replicate works is um, it's a trigger that puts copies on the stack. It's basically like Storm. So you imagine someone has a Chalice of the Void on 4, and you cast Tendrils of Agony, and Storm is 10. So you have 11 copies of the card Tendrils of Agony, and they all target your opponent. Uh, their Chalice of the Void triggers once. It triggers for the card that you cast from your hand. 
uh, the other storm copies, like the replicate copies, are created by a triggered ability that doesn't trigger a card that says when you cast something, do this. So, like, they have Chalice on 1, to return to the relevant example. They have Chalice on 1, and you Shattering Spree it and Replicate it once. The original copy gets countered, but the replicated copy goes through and blows it up. So, that's what's up. <coughs> um, this is not a good hand. It has no interaction. It has three copies of Cyan of the Earth Dragon. And, like, yes, we get to pitch one to Blazing Shoal, but we're still starting on a mulligan to six, and our six-card hand is this, which I'm not thrilled about. So, this is, like, a pretty easy mulligan. And this is an easy keep because, it, as it turns out, Shattering Spree is a phenomenally powerful card. And our opponent has decided to lead off on Pithy Needle, which they think will save them. I have some news for them. Pithy Needle is not going to save them. So we actually just want to let them like play a few cards out so we can get maximum value from our Shattering Spree. And then we're going to blow all of their stuff up. Leading on Academy Ruins is also like a pretty bad sign for them. If they play Demir Signet, we have to like blow some things up. Ah, Chalice on one. What an apt thing for them to have. What a perfect thing for us to blow up. Uh, I forget. Oh, yeah. Transfer and Chalice doesn't work out well for them. I think we get to just blow up all three things right now. So if we replicate it twice, yeah, okay. So that works. Um, Trinisphere just asks if you're paying three mana for a spell, and Replicate asks you how much more would you like this spell to cost, and you say two more time. Two. I, I would like to pay red, red more for this, and so the spell costs red, 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 which satisfies this condition. So yeah, we're going to pay... Yeah, we're going to replicate three times. And then the triggers go on the stack. This and this. So yeah, we've got one copy targeting each, and now all of his stuff is gone. Which is great for us! Um, and... So if we ever wanted to get a Chrome Mox down, now would be the time, but I'm not super invested in that. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so can we kill them this turn? So we have five mana. Yeah, so we end step sneak Scion in. And Scion, so the way that sneak attack works is you sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. This is actually going to be a bigger issue. I mean, yeah, I don't know. So Dragon Tyrant is what it's going to become, but we only have the one Molten Steel Dragon. So we're actually going to sneak that into play first. And 
So they're going to rebuy Pithing Needle at the end of the turn and play it on theirs. So we aren't going to, yeah. So they rebuy, go to 18, 17 actually, and then play Pithing Needle. So can we get them below 17? I don't think so. Uh, we can sneak this in, turn it into Dragon Tyrant, and pay one. So deal them 14, and then these trade. Sneaking this in was actually a huge mistake. We can hope that they block Sign of the Air Dragon, which would be awesome. Like, we just don't give them the information, they forget that Dragon Tyrant has Trample? Yes, awesome. So we pump, and then we assign six Trample damage. And then we Phyrexian a bunch, and they die, right? Uh, seven, so two more. And we win. Whew, cool. So, we punted, they punted back. And Dragon Tyrant, as it turns out, has Trample. That card has a lot of abilities. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. I'll be back in a sec.